So, if you've been watching the last few videos, I've basically just been walking you through how to get your character properly imported and exported into Unreal. But in the comments, some of you are wondering, how does this process change if your character has things or features that the Unreal mannequin simply doesn't have, like wings or tails or ears or hair? How do you add those things in without f***ing up the skeleton? And then I noticed that there really weren't a lot of tutorials that specifically go into that process. So, for the next three-ish videos, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, I've decided to make some minor fun adjustments to the standard Unreal 5 female mannequin, who is apparently officially named Quinn, the male variant is named Manny, and the female variant is named Quinn. So, I just went ahead and dragged Quinn into ZBrush and reimagined what she would look like if she went to the gym more often. You know, Quinn is the standard mannequin that jumps and runs and climbs through all of your games while they're in beta, so I was thinking, man, she does all this physical activity every day, all day. She would probably be way more fit than what we see here. So I just kind of gave her the muscle definition that I really think she deserves. First thing we had to do was obviously remove the metal plate that was blocking her boobular areas because we all know that she would probably really just be wearing a sports bra like all the other normal fitness girls. And for sure she never skips leg day. So the next thing we needed to do was hit her glutular areas with the inflate brush. Then I went in and carved her calves into a less flabby more defined shape, narrowed her ankles a little bit, and since we are mainly working in beautiful medieval fantasy style characters, and all of the female characters I have designs for wear heels, it's probably best to make sure that our new standard mannequin also has heels to make it easier to translate and import new characters. Then I just made her neck a little slimmer since she's definitely doing like, I don't know, healthy yoga neck stretches and stuff, and upon further inspection, decided we needed to go back to her hips because she definitely probably does like 500 squats a day, so they really need to have more tone and be a little wider. And when I first saw the mannequin, it really reminded me of Tron, you know, it kind of that sci-fi faceless glass helmet style genre and I just thought that the perfect hairstyle for this character would be Korra's. Obviously I didn't want to copy it exactly but that was the general idea. So we have a new character with augmentations that we will have to re-rig sending them to Unreal with some new bones to control her chest and her glutes which I will show you guys how to adjust in the coming videos. And we are in the process of deciding a new name for this character because she's clearly not the same as Quinn. If you're on the patron squad or a YouTube support member then you can actually vote on the name that you think fits her most. Right now the possible names I thought of were Unreela, Queenie, Jim Quinn, Unrea or Unrea, and Unra. But if you're on the squad, feel free to leave any ideas for names that aren't on the list because we're really just trying to have fun here. But yeah, these next few videos are going to be really short and I promise we'll get back to the full hardcore Unreal stuff, but I just wanted to make sure these tutorials were available for anyone who needed them. So if you join me in the next few videos, we are going to get our new default female mannequin properly rigged with new bones into the engine as fast as possible. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Oh, 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 oh,